Hold up, let's back up for a second. I was recently contacted by a tech company called Iridia, who makes all sorts of really cool gadgets within what they call seasons. However, when they contacted me, they wanted me to review an iron. How did you know when her iron was cool enough? Uh. Yeah, that kind of iron. And I thought to myself, how in the heck am I gonna make a full video about an iron? And then it struck me. This is finally my chance to build a Rube Goldberg machine. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Something I have wanted to build on camera for years since I even started this YouTube channel. So, in today's video, I am going to concept and build an entire Rube Goldberg machine involving the iron to do some awesome specific task that I'll figure out later on. And hopefully, it'll all work. Hopefully. Building a Rube Goldberg machine has not only been one of my dreams since I started this YouTube channel, but ever since I was a little kid. <coughs> also, fun fact, I've never even used an iron before. You what? So my goal is to make a super ridiculous contraption that is a Rube Goldberg machine that involves what is apparently the world's first cordless iron. Now this here is the Rydia Press, and it is described as a cordless, pocket-sized, fast heating and portable iron. But more on that later. Because some of you might be asking who or what is a Rube Goldberg and why does he have a machine named after him? Well, quickly explained, a Rube Goldberg machine is a deliberately over-engineered or overdone machine that performs a very simple task in a very complicated, often humorous manner, typically through a chain reaction. Also, is it just me or do Rube Goldberg machines always remind you of... <laughs> Anyways, the name comes from a man named Rube Goldberg. He was an American cartoonist, inventor, and engineer known for his cartoons depicting complicated gadgets performing simple tasks in indirect, convoluted ways. These cartoons showcased his engineering background, but I think they were also to kind of make fun of the technology in the early 20th century. <laughs> Now, good and bad technology is a subject I touch on a lot on this channel, and it's important to note that Goldberg himself never actually built the machines he drew. However, there have been a lot of real life examples of people building them and even having competitions around them. And this, ladies and gentlemen, brings me back to the whole point of this video, which is we need to go build a Rube Goldberg machine, but it's not gonna be easy. So let's get to work. As I made my way around the garage and house looking for stuff to use in this project, I realized something. I should probably make sure the iron itself works first. So after dumping the contents of the box out and charging it up, I tested it out really quick on my desk because I'm a slob and I don't own an ironing board. But that's good, right? It'll show whether or not this can be used anywhere. So to test this out, first we gotta turn it on, which is right inside this little part right here. Just flip that switch right there over. I'm gonna turn it like this so it doesn't catch anything on fire. I don't know if it would, but it says it takes about one minute for it to heat up. I've got a shirt to test it with. This super wrinkled piece of shirt that I just pulled out of my closet. It's probably been in there for almost a year, just wrinkling itself to death. Ugh. Brother, ugh. All right, while we're waiting for that to heat up, let's lay this shirt out. This is my Flexco shirt. Ignore the dog hairs that are on it. It's been about a minute and this thing feels pretty warm. So let's test it out. Well, all right, it looks pretty good. I'm ready for my job interview at the Baywatch beach, I guess. What happened? What is this? Rabbit hair. My rabbit stole the iron. What am I gonna do? That rabbit is crazy strong and there's no way that I can just go into its cage and just take the iron back or else this will happen again to me. Wait, I think I have an idea involving the Rube Goldberg machine we are gonna build. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm gonna build a Rube Goldberg machine, something I don't know what it's gonna look like. There is the rabbit's cage, rabbit, cage. Oh my God, that it's not even letters. I am so frazzled right now. So the Rube Goldberg machine is going to do some sort of contraption, drop food into her cage, and then while the rabbit is distracted, this is me, that's exactly what I look 
look like. I am going to go over to the rabbit cage and steal the iron back. There we go. So that I can finally review it. Here goes nothing. Four hours later. All right, I finally finished my Bunny Distractor 10,000 so I can get my iron back from that really mean bunny that I own. <sighs> Please let it work. All right, Mysterious Hand, drop them marbles. Sucker! <laughs> Got it! <sighs> All right, so the plan did work. Thankfully, I got the iron back and the rabbit, my rabbit named Mozzie, is safely in her cage, no longer destroying things or attacking me. And this all leads me to the final review of the Rydia Press. So overall, this is a great little product and I really wanna give a shout out to Rydia for sending it over to me. I think pros are obviously that it's fast heating, it's cordless, it's super portable, it's super fast charging as well. It actually charged within like maybe 30 minutes all the way up to 100% and lasts for about one or two shirts. Now my only con with this would be that if you were having to do two, three, four, even more shirts and you needed a really constant ironing hangout sesh, you're probably not going to be able to do more than one or two shirts with this thing before it starts to lose its heat. However, if you're traveling, like I said, or you just have one or two shirts that you just need really fast for a job interview, like I did on the beach. Nice! then I think this thing is perfect. It's also super lightweight and obviously super portable. So overall review, this thing's great. Now I will leave a link to this little iron down in the description below, as well as a link to the Rydia website, which has got a bunch of other cool little electronic products. And all the time they're coming out with all sorts of new stuff. Again, thank you Rydia for sending me this iron. And if you guys also want to support this channel, you can either go and buy this iron, or you can also check out my book that I wrote, The Very Strange Universe of Dr. Natalia Zeal. It's all about this physicist who travels all around space. She's trying to figure out stuff here in the near future. There's AI robots. There's all sorts of stuff that kind of relates to the stuff that I do here on this channel. So go and check that out. I will leave a link down in the description below. I'm Eric J. Coons. I'm going to leave a link right up here as well from one of my past videos that I think you'll be interested in if you like this video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I've got some really exciting full documentaries and also a bunch of new product reviews, AI robots, and all sorts of traveling adventures, all sorts of stuff that's coming up on the channel this year. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.